Maximum file. Okay, well. Erected by private subscription to EE used for religious purposes and for pro Protestant worship. It shall proper application and authority be open at all times to all. Oh, cool. It's locked. <laughs> okay. Colonel Julian McAllister, who was the first lieutenant at Fort Monroe, was responsible for the erection of this chapel, dedicated to St. Cornelius the Centurion of May 3rd, 1858. Visitors welcome. Plaque resided by High Fellowship, 1962. Well, it's not open. But that's okay. I would have liked to go look in there. And there's stained glass, so I won't be able to see through them. Many historic buildings. That's another historic building. Okay. I don't know. Heard something. Alright, yeah, this is just some kind of like alarm going off. Let's take a random path back. Oh shit. No way. <clears throat> I just saw something at the top of the wall. I don't think I got that on camera. Maybe it was just the red flashing light that got my attention, but it seemed. Let's see if we see anything this way. Oh, this looks creepy. It is hot. Well, that's a hell of a tree. That's like the main building that they did a lot of their like business in back at the Civil War time. Uh, one of the main junction houses and then all the quarters and then all the cannons around the edge of this. We are on a, the biggest stone fort in USA. And it's, I forget how many people were housed here, but it used to have a train that ran onto it way back uh, and before Civil War times, before all the buildings were built, there was, there was a wooden encampment with Native Americans when the settlers and natives worked together. I'm getting a freaking spooky feeling right here. I don't think anybody lives in that, but I just saw them. Oh my god. I can't believe I just saw that. Full shadow person. There's no way that was a regular person. Oh my god. I gotta get up there or something. Oh my god, I am. I have such shivers. 
Is somebody up there? I don't know. I haven't seen a shadow person in a long time, but that was fucking freaky, dude. I don't know if I got that, but it was just on top of this building. Ran from like this tree all the way across the top of that and just disappeared. Bird. Oh. oh, that's cool. Wow. Okay. I definitely kind of want to go up there. Well, they must have held ammunition in here or something. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I want to know if I can go up there. That was incredible. And I don't see anybody walking around except for me. What the fuck was that? Rat? I think a rat just poked his head out of there. Something. <laughs> All right, getting exciting. Nothing but a wall back there. Oof, God, every window, I'm like, something gonna be there. Okay. God, I hope I caught that. All right, well. Whew. I might want to try and get up there and see if I can go on top of this. I'm not sure. But, jeez, I still have chills. I, each time I start to feel something, like right now, I feel okay. But, when I was just walking through there, I kind of felt something funny, like, all right, you might see something. But, seeing a full black shadow run across this roof. Come on, don't do this to me. Oh, man. All right, let's just walk back towards where Abraham Lincoln stayed. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> it's even freakier when it's flashing. I don't want it to flash. Just, all right, that's how you change it. That door was open, I thought. I was just gonna go in there and just look at it real quick. Another ammo hold place. All right, well, I hope I catch some more of that kind of action. See, for all you know, you can get right on top of this building and run across the top of it. Because I've never gone up there. I don't know if we can. No, you can't go up this way. No parking, do not enter. Wow. That's a crazy car. Well. Um, 
Oh, I guess we could go up here. I'm gonna be looking at that building now. So, that's one of the freakier things I've seen in a long time. These are old like tracks. They probably push stuff up here, push the you know, roll the ammo down. So we're gonna be over the over the tunnel entrance. There's only I think three ways onto the island. Just so I can see. Oh. All right. So a lot of the guys buried their animals up here too. They all had war dogs, and they're all buried up here. But them saying. They see shadows run along this top of this place. Well, I just seen one. So I can confirm the story. I didn't see anyone jogging or running down after they went up on top of that. Um, another like ammunition hold. That's cool. Let's give it a knock. I do wonder how deep, I mean, there's tunnels all under here, all underground, and then the front of the fort has portholes and stuff. All right, let's just go. Man, I don't know if my eyes are playing tricks on me or... I am. Forty minutes. I'll probably give it another little bit. <clears throat> it looks like I can get up there. Oh, somebody spray painted on here. This is one of those pop-up cannons. Here it is. Wow, that's 
obstacle. So there would have been a huge cannon in here. X marks the spot. Did I see somebody running along the top of this? This will beep if you would like to set that off. This beeps and lights up. light here. Could you set this off? Or oh, there's two other little lights there. Alright, I'm going to do the annoying part for a few moments. It's, it's a little bit warm. <laughs> So let's go do some spirit box and see if we get any names. S box. Scanning. AM. My name's Ryan. We have some objects here if you'd like to touch them. Or if you'd like to speak to me, tell me your name. Hi. How you doing? I'm Ryan. What's your name? Did you used to have a station here when it had cannons and protected the bay? Lost. What? I'm not sure what you said. What did... Stupid. Yeah, sometimes I am. Could you say your name or say, say my name back to me? Communicate. Jefferson Davis, is he here? If you don't say anything, I'm going to shut this off. Cool. I don't know what that's like.
did you? I did hear something not on this, but like close to me. There's a little red light behind me. Could you set that off? I'll give you one more chance with this. I'm Ryan. Can you say a name or what year you think it is? For me, it's 2024. I am like tripping. I just thought I saw somebody. Whew. That's the scariest part, thinking an actual person is, is coming. Uh, yeah, we might go back over there. But thank you for making this go off. <clears throat> Could you do it again? close to me all right there's music over that way I can kind of hear that but yeah oh, there's beetles and cockroaches everywhere all right I'm gonna pack this up I don't think I've gotten chills so many times, really. So the great part about that shadow person I just saw looked almost exactly like what I saw when I was 16 and me and my friends went to Paul A. Dever, which is an old abandoned asylum in the Bridgewater Triangle up in Mass. And same kind of shadow person, full blackout moving quick when we saw it so there was a bunch of us some girls and three of my guy friends actually four of my guy friends and we all looked and thought security was standing up outside the window um not it was only like four feet tall and it it moved the same way like not really see its legs moving or anything kind of drifting but we could see the grass moving because it was tall grass through a field. Me and Casey and a couple, the uh, two of the other guys got out of the window. We could still see him running through the field, thinking it's just some kid. Like, hey, do you need help? And boom, straight into like a brick wall and gone. We even ran over to the building, looked around the whole building. There was nothing. No, no noises, no people around. We couldn't figure out what we just saw the girls are screaming so we stayed there for like another 20 minutes looking around and on our way out security did show up which was a whole nother story I could tell maybe on a live oh. 
but I think I'm going to be ending this. I've been doing an hour. I've been here a while. And just to get here, all sorts of road detours to get onto the island because they're doing work. But we'll go one more walk around this building. Can't believe I saw a shadow thing. Oh my god. I'm still like. <sighs> I expected maybe something to happen. Nothing like that. I wonder if somebody stays on this part of it to fix it up. Cool is this though? Oh, I definitely just walked through some spider webs. Under protection of the government, that's what that was saying. And any theft, blah blah blah. I would not steal anything. I'm not looking for that, I'm looking for ghosts. fun. I'm going to be getting out of here. I'm sweating my butt off. Um, I got what I wanted. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, if you believe in shadow figures or maybe just they can't be seen, I don't know. I've seen stuff. I've heard stuff. I believe 100%. Proving it is much harder. The equipment can be very difficult to use. you got to use it correctly change the battery like all the time make sure you're using your equipment correctly and hopefully stuff goes off but yeah i'm getting out of here um i hope you enjoyed this i definitely did best night of ghost hunting for me for a long time that was amazing i'm so freaking happy right now and i'll keep filming until we get out of here i'm kind of too amped up for Who? Who? <laughs> Hello? Alright, well, we'll definitely be back here. And I'll be doing more different places around there. There's plenty of stories. I didn't even read the book. I planned on reading some of that book. But, yeah. Could you show yourself again? Because that was freaking amazing. <laughs> I 
well, I will be back. Any moat monsters? Can't even tell what it is because uh, man. Well, all right, guys. Check out some of my other adventures. I, I've had many adventures. Um, not all scary, not all ghost hunting, but um, well over 200, maybe 300 at this point of ghost hunting thingies of just trying different things and seeing what I catch. Um, some of my best real ghost voice Bridgewater Triangle, Massachusetts. Um, I did get a rocking chair, rocket chair moved on me one time at my house. Some of the things on my front porch that happened, crazy. This place gets an A plus. I, I've never been that freaked out in, since I was 16. Um, I hope to come back, we'll probably do a longer session, do a little, a little different experiments. Maybe I'll try putting the uh, REM pod in a Faraday cage, but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for the new subscribers. I'm up over 660 something, which I couldn't even, I wouldn't keep going if I didn't keep growing, but <laughs> uh, I've been doing this a long time and plan on many more. We got other places I want to check out, Roanoke. I want to check out um, Lee Hall. It's a huge mansion. Go see the giant president heads. There's some uh, roadside oddities and stuff like that. The oddity shop I did, I want to go back there. But you guys have a great night. Here's the last view of the forts. Peace out, you guys. Have a good night.